Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can sort the values with the help of the lambda function. So first of all we will see the two different functions which is sort and sorted. Alright, so what I have is the attendance as a list. So if I go and execute it again and uh, the first one is I want to show you is sorted. So sorted, if I show you the parameters, it takes the iterable, which is basically a list in this case, and then any key, and then reverse is equals to false. Now what it does is it returns a new list containing all the items, and that's the basic difference between sort and sorted. Sorted return a new list which you can assign to an object, whereas sort only sort basically, you know, modifies the existing list so in this case i will show you that when i apply the sorted function it does not affect the original list but when we apply the sort then it affects the list or the iterable so what i'll do is first of all simply give attendance and what it returns is the new list if i try to if i show you over here is attendance uh, you will see that our original list is unaffected. Now, if I want, I can uh, basically assign all of these values to a new list object. All right. So I'll just close that. After that, you can specify its parameters like reverse is equals to false, which is a default, whereas you can make it true also to make it a reverse list, right? Um, and if you have observed, it has the key argument as well, which I will show you that how it is helpful in applying the lambda function or other functions as per your needs. All right. So before that, what I'll do is I will show you that uh, it has not impacted our original list. Now what I will do is with this list, I will use the sort. And if I show you its parameters again, it has key, none, and reverse is equal to false, very similar to our sorted function. But if I go ahead and execute that, and now if I show you the attendance, it is now changed. So that's the basic difference between sort and sorted, as I had mentioned at the start, that sorted does not impact or modify our list, but you can assign the output into a new list object. Whereas this sort will going to impact or modify our list, as you can see in this case, how it has done it over here. Now, if I want, I can specify reverse is equals to true to get a new modified list. And now my new modified list is like this. Okay, so after that, what I'll do is I will show you the lambda function, right? So let's say I want to use the same attendance dot sort and key is basically the argument as I had mentioned that key basically takes the uh, key basically takes the function which can be a lambda function as well. So what I'll do is I will say lambda x colon. So what x is referring here is the of values which is present in the list object. And let's say my requirement is that I want to apply some sort of uh, uh, multiplication operation on this each of the element of the list. So maybe something like x multiply with 1.5 and then I want to get an output. Now this is a very simple but it can be uh, as complex as you want as you must have seen in my previous video about applying the lambda functions. But just to give you an idea uh, you can specify the uh, operation like this, even a complex operation, to basically uh, get the desired output. Now with the help of this, each of this operation will be resulted into the x and that based on the value of the x, the list will be sorted, but not by the actual values. And that's a benefit you get. So if I go in and execute it and show you the new list, it is now changed to an ascending order list based on the operation that we applied. And this operation you can consider it is like 1.5 is a standard deviation that you want to apply on each of the list or 
or any other thing you know based on your needs so this is how very easily um, you can either have a simple list or a complex list like this to to basically um, you know sort it after that what i have for you is um, a list of uh, tuples just to make this scenario a little bit more complex so here so far we have been looking at the attendance of just one class let's say i have the attendance of every class 9 over here it's basically a list of tuples if you see uh, it's 9a class 9a and average attendance let's say for this week is 35 9b 37 9c 9d and 9e that's an example let's say i have from a school and if I go in and execute that and uh, let's say what I want is class underscore ATT uh, dot sort or maybe this time let's say I use sorted class underscore ATT comma key is equals to lambda and then again X X is indicating all the elements over here X colon X one so what we are saying over here is that look at the element at first position so this is zero this is one so it will go in each and every tuple look at the element of uh, each uh, look at the uh, each element and then give you the sorted output so let's go ahead and execute that so now you can see 9c30 is coming first because that's the smallest one which is uh, on the third position in our original list after that 9d32 which is this 9e34 which is this then 9a35 this 9b37 so you can see uh, how easily you can use the lambda function for subscripting your tuple or your list or your dictionary and uh, get the desired output with the help of the sorted function